Welcome to Mega Talk. We're still the talk show in boxing. What a great show it was on Saturday. We had Joshua Boazzi versus Pavel Stepien. And that was on Saturday, May the 6th, 2023, at Birmingham's Resort World Arena. This was a Sky Sports production, and the promoter on the day was boxer Ben Shalom. So the main event was Joshua Boazzi versus Pavel Stepien. Then you had Lauren Price versus Kersey Bavington. You had Sean McCaw versus Cassie Benjamin. Tyler Denny versus McCooley McGowell. Corey Gibbs versus Jimmy First. Shakam Peters versus Joel McIntyre. Then you had Ben Whitaker versus Jordan Grant. It was a good evening, but one thing what I noticed was that midway through Joshua Boatz's fight, people started to leave. I mean, a lot of people started to leave. And I'm wondering to myself, why were people leaving in droves? By the time the end of the fight had come, probably half of the people had gone. I was thinking, what was that all about? So people just getting up. It's not like people's getting up and like complaining and saying stuff and just leaving. To me, it comes down to first possibilities. They wasn't happy with Joshua Boatzi's performance. They thought it was lackluster. I thought he'd done a good job. He was very technical. But there's many times when he let the other fighter back in again. I feel that he could have put the pedal to the metal and finished him off. But he didn't, for one reason or the other. He's been at the ring about a year now. But I know that there were some complaints about that and people wasn't happy about that. They thought that he could have done much better. But I'd like to give him the benefit of the doubt because he's in there to try new things out and his next fight could be a world title or his next fight could be against somebody like Anthony Yard or Dan Aziz or could be against Lyndon Arthur also. He's or somebody of that calibre. The second reason was, I know that, some people had trains and that to catch. I did hear somebody get up and speak about their train could have been due at that time. So I know that a lot of people might have had to have left because their last trains back to London, Manchester, throughout the whole country could have been booked and they needed to get back to wherever they was getting back to. So I do understand that. But if that be the case, isn't that an issue to do with scheduling? Is that something that Ben Shalom needs to now look on if that is the reason why people are getting up and leaving to get back to their places of abode? Because to be honest, you could definitely feel a drop of the atmosphere when people started to leave. Some people who was starting some of the, the songs and the chants that was in there, when they got up and left, there was definitely more of a lull in the atmosphere. Nobody booed to what I could hear, but I meant it was quite quiet in comparison to how it was when Joshua Boatzi came out. I mean, Joshua Boatzi had a really, really good reception. So did other boxers like Ben Whitaker and Lauren Price versus Katie Bavington for the first ever female British championship. So yeah, it made me think, what could be the reasons? If the reason is due to trains leaving for people to get back to where they needed to go maybe the schedule could be started off earlier when they are doing these shows you know the timetable must be looked at to see when trains and other things are due so people can get back to their places of abode but to be able to watch the main championship fight or the main fights of that evening i hope that if ben is listening to this he will do something about that in the future but it was good to have people come to Birmingham. A lot of people commented how close it was for them to get to their different places of abode. Like say if it was London, it was just 100 and a bit. And Manchester was 80 or so miles. Whereas if the show's in Manchester and people live in London, they've got to travel a lot further and vice versa to get back. But the scheduling really does need to be looked at. I thought it was nice to have the show in Second City. Obviously. Greater Birmingham area has got over 2 million people, so it can serve for the needs of all those people. Many people can come to watch the fights. I think the more fights that happen in the Midlands area, West Midlands area, is the more people will come out and support it. So you'll see it very similar to Liverpool, Manchester, London, what 
has regular fights there. But also, I thought that the fighters as well, I saw a few regional fighters which was there. I know Hosea Stewart was saying in one of his interviews that he wished that he was on the show because he's a local lad as well and he would have wanted to have been on that show. So I think that the more that they have fights in the West Midlands, Birmingham area, is the more that the fighters will be looking forward to get on the show and encourage more boxers to actually come through the system to want to fight. So there we go. It was a good night in Birmingham on Saturday. I hope that there'll be more fights that will be taking place there soon so that we can really see a big build-up in this area and we see more fights which are scheduled to happen here. Just like it used to be in the 1990s when Eubank and Ben fought at the NEC and what a night that was. Superb night and there's many more to go and other big fights used to happen here. So we'll see. Thank you for listening to Mega Talk. Please leave your comments if you've got your own reasons why you think people are left out midway during the fight. Please do so. Leave your comments and subscribe. Thank you.